Hello. So today we're out at uh, Stiffkey or Stucky, I think is how the locals pronounce this one here. Uh, up on the Norfolk coast, we've got Blakeney and that, which is just down that way there. We've got Wells, which everybody knows, which is just up there as well, where the sun's been setting. We have got this uh, golden glow over here, but I was hoping, I'm pretty much bummed out here, really here. I was hoping to get a bit more colour in the sky, straight up in front of us, just down there, running down this massive long pipe here as well. I was really, really hoping the uh, cloud formation was going to work for that. Still got some really nice cloud formation anyway, so I've definitely got something. But uh, yeah, I was hoping for some of that colour over there. But oh well, I've still got some nice photos. I I'm quite good at getting these locations wrong, it seems. Um, but I'm always after that shot. I'm always pushing to see what we can get in different places. And uh, like I say, this is, uh, this is one that I shot quite a while before. And uh, decided to revisit, see what I could get from here a second time. And yeah, I do like it around here. It's a good little spot. You're just unspoilt around here. You can just keep looking and looking and looking. And apart from where you park the cars half a mile back that way, you don't really get a lot of people down here, which is really, really nice. So it can be quite a chilled out session here. Um, just been shooting some two minute exposures on here. Still got 18 seconds to go. We have got that bit of colour up there, like I said. So I'm shooting kind of wide to try and just get a little bit of the bleed of that colour coming through. And it is now the light has actually dropped down. It seems to be sort of ricocheting off the clouds just over there, and it is starting to bleed into the photo a little bit. So I'm doing this two minute exposure now. I might just flip that around and get a 60 second exposure so I can get a couple of uh, as the light changes. It's not always about just uh, that one photo, but get a couple of variations of it, see how we can work with that. But it's, uh, yeah, it's gonna be a bit of a interesting one, I think. Well, I've just checked the photos that um, I just got so far and quite impressed with those actually. Uh, there's a nice bit of colour coming through there, a bit of movement in the cloud as well, so I'll ping and in there so you can see them. But this light is actually starting to pull over and we're getting a bit of colour coming into my frame now, so it might be for a bit of luck for what I was hoping to get. Not quite what I had in mind, but I'll take whatever's on offer, really. I mean, that colour over there is pretty impressive, but shooting that way, I mean, you look, there's not a lot to see. There's not, it's not really doing much for me. All these little, like, lakey, uh, sort of, bits of all the water in them, they're not really doing much for me. Um, there's no, none big enough here, really, for shooting and getting big reflections. I'm not up high enough either. It's too windy to be sticking the drone up as well. So, yeah, just going to have to just shoot down this pipe, the photo I had in mind, see what we get, and we just put up with it, really. It's, uh, it is what it is. Can't really change that. So, yes, yeah, so I'm going to uh, check what I've been shooting here now because just finishing off another exposure. Uh, I want to be catching this light as it continually changes. Well, well, I've just changed position, so, uh, so I've got the other side of the pipe now, as you can see. Oh, well, it's like I think it's all sewage pipe or something like that. And so I'm now shooting sort of side on at 45 degrees to the pipe. So we've got a bit of a leading line taking us through the shot. You'll see some of the structure, like the decaying woods with the braces for the uh, structure there. But you're going to get some of that colour of the uh, sky going out there as well. Um, I've shot a few at like 25 seconds, I think one at about three seconds. Uh, I've done another one as well, now just shooting one at two minutes, just so we can see what all of them are like. There's beautiful band in a lot. I wish I wasn't shooting this two minute now because we've got this beautiful band of like orangey pink just coming through the actual frame, like just literally straight from the frame there. Hopefully that's not going to be moving too much and won't blur in the photo. But as soon as I'm done here, I'm thinking about shooting straight down the pipe from here as well. 10 well, about 12 mil all the way out 
in landscape, get a bit of this colour bleeding through as well. We've got 45 seconds left of this exposure. With a bit of luck, we should be able to get that. But yeah, do you know what? It's actually turned out to be quite a uh, fruitful evening, really. In the matter of 10 minutes, the lights changed so quickly for the better. It's pretty amazing. I'm really, uh, yeah, really glad I made the effort to come out tonight. It's, uh, it's always good when you get out, and a uh, stiff key again has delivered. But I don't want me to stay here too late because it's a bit of a hike back to the car and you've got to zigzag through loads of little creeks and stuff like that. So I'm probably going to do this photo, the last one, get back and uh, get back on the computer and see what we've got image-wise. Well, just got back to the van and suddenly remembered got this cool little new feature of uh, being busy sticking some electrics in the van, you can see that. So I've got a battery in the back of the van now and I've got some lights so I can actually see when I'm getting ready or when I'm getting back from sunset or getting ready for sunrise and it's just really, really handy. So uh, yeah, so this is quite good. I can change my boots, get my trainers on, camera gear all packed and stowed down nice and tidy as well. Well, looking at the state of the van, I wouldn't have thought so, but um, yeah, like I say, I'm going to uh, jump off now and uh, get back home and chill out, I think, and warm up a bit. It's been a little bit nippy today, it really has. So as always, as I said earlier, take care, catch you on the next uh, adventure.